What's up guys, it's Airstuff FPV here introducing to you my hobby grade custom built ground station unit for long endurance flights and other type of FPV flying. Everything is extremely easy um, built up. Uh, it's simply on this collapsible tripod and it includes this 10.1 inch TFT monitor that accepts AV input by the receiver here, which is a typical 5.8 gigahertz receiver. It's the RC832. And this lithium ion homemade battery here to power the ground station unit for approximately six to seven hours from full charge to cutoff. So normally you would get like a seven inch TFT monitor, but I looked around a bit more and a bit deeper into AliExpress and saw different uh, sizes of TFT monitors. And I found this 10.1 inch with the best reviews and uh, got it home and it worked right away. So I'm enjoying a bigger screen for my FPV feed and FPV flights. The receiver here, it's a typical 5.8 gigahertz receiver, um, single antenna, no diversity. Um, it has a single AV uh, output via this cable to my um, AV input on the screen. And I have somewhere over here, over here actually, an additional wire, a single um, cable wire that goes to the DVR. I don't have to record DVR on my planes anymore. I could just now do it via my ground station. Now the battery sits on here, which is just simply this foam board made um, battery holder um, because there is no other space. So I just simply made this thing actually 90 degrees in angle applied some uh, velcro on the spots here and also on the foam board so now i just simply just uh, press it in place get the battery on the uh, velcro on top of the surface of the battery holder and just uh, place it on there and there's no way it's gonna fall over this here is my ground station battery pack. It's a 3S2P 6,400 milliamp hours lithium ion uh, home built. Uh, and I had just enough of these, uh, I don't know what they're called, but there are 32 milliamp hours uh, lithium ion cells laying around to build this battery pack. Um, meaning it's also 3S because the screen and receiver only accept 12 volts, not more, not less than that. So when everything is powered on and running, it consumes 0.6 amps. And with this 6,400 milliamp hours from full charge until, I don't know, like 3.2 volts per cell, I think it will do seven, eight hours maybe. So to hook up my DVR module, it's just extremely easy. I would just find the 12 volt cable, plug that in, and then find the signal cable plug that in when the battery is plugged in and the whole ground station is powered on I just have to press a button on the DVR module just one time and then it will record my flights it's also incredibly handy to have extensions so that I could uh, hook up the screen inside a car because the season has arrived for bugs to appear again so when I'm especially doing an endurance flight I don't have to worry about um, being bitten by mosquitoes or other bugs. Flawless.